Yo, what is up guys? It is Nick or the Notorious Fantasy back again today with another fantasy football video. Today's video is week two Thursday night football start or sit for the Panthers Buccaneers game at Panthers. Before I start the video, I'd like to ask you could please comment down below. Click that subscribe button because not only is it going to help me, it's also going to help you guys because I'm going to help you guys dominate your fantasy football league every single week. You're going to be dominating like you are Genghis goddamn Khan. So, do that. Follow me on Twitter at Notorious Fantasy. So this video, or at Notorious FNTSY. So in this video, I'm going to be going over all the sit starts for tonight's game. This helps with the, because uh, there's a lot of injuries that I'm going to be talking about. Some injuries I was unsure of that I talked about in the other video. So you're going to be fired up Mr. Cam Newton. Cam Newton is a start. Now I know he played bad last week. We need to see him air the ball out to Curtis Samuel, DJ Moore down the field. The coach, Coach Ron Rivera, Riverboat Ron, seemed to be restricting him a lot. It was really just the Christian McCaffrey show last week. I think this week they let Cam loose. Now, we'll be able to tell this week how fucked up Cam's shoulder really is because if he doesn't throw the ball a lot, then we will clearly see that that is not, uh, that is the case, that his shoulder is fucked up. He told the, uh, during the, an interview, like after the game, he was talking about how uh, he should have seen how Ron Rivera drafted his fantasy team because he clearly didn't draft Cam Newton because they weren't throwing the ball. It was all in good fun. I think they will be throwing the ball a lot more tonight. And I'm going to be sitting famous Jameis Winston. Now, I know in, in the league, I'm playing famous Jameis because that's all I got. And I'm sticking with my guns because I love the guy. I think that last week may be one of those weeks where he, he has every single year. He has three weeks of pure garbage or a couple of weeks of pure garbage where he plays like shit, and then he comes back and bounces back, back to back. You know, he comes back and plays good, and I think tonight could be that, but I'm too scared to start him in most leagues, so I would not advise you to start him this week. You're not crazy. I'm kind of fucking crazy, and that's why I'm going to start him. Now, wide receivers, we're going to talk about the starts. Now, Mike Evans was dealing with that injury. Now, follow me on Twitter. I will tweet out if he's not playing because he was injured and he was dealing with his illness. But I think he should be good to go tonight. I saw no reports that were negative that he was out. So I'm pretty sure he's playing and I'm confident starting him. Also start his teammate Chris Godwin. Both two good wideouts. Two guys that could finish as top 20 wide receivers. I think Jameis being shit doesn't really... It does affect him, but it doesn't make him completely terrible. Because, you know, when Jameis throws a pick, you don't lose points for Chris Godwin or Mike Evans. They both should have pretty solid weeks. You're going to also start DJ Moore and Curtis Samuel. Now, I'd be more cautious on starting Curtis Samuel. Because if Cam isn't airing the ball out super far, that is Curtis Samuel's forte. Going down the field, catching those balls, and making big plays. DJ Moore, more close to Cam Newton, will be able to catch the ball. He had a pretty solid week last week besides that fumble. I'm confident starting both of them, but temper your expectation on Curtis Samuel and start him as like a flex option, not a wide receiver too. In the next are uh, the running backs. What are we talking about here? Start Christian McCaffrey. Obviously every single goddamn week, you're going to be firing up Christian McCaffrey. Number one running back in fantasy football last week. I think he could do it again this week. I'm pretty confident in Christian McCaffrey tonight, just like I am every single week. And you could also start Ronald Jones. Now this is in super deep leagues. Okay, guys. Not in every single league can you start Ronald Jones. They're saying, there were reports, Ronald Jones is going to be getting the ball a lot more tonight. That's what they're saying. Bruce Aarons is going to be trying to run the ball more with Ronald Jones. How true is that? Who really knows? We will see tonight. So don't, I wouldn't advise starting him in any type of league unless you're in like a 16 or 18 team league, super deep league with three flexes maybe, like a 12 team league with three flexes. Maybe I would throw out Rojo, but I'm cautioning you. He's not a super big, you got to start him like CMC. He's a... I may start him if I'm in a shitty position. And then you were going to be sitting down Peyton Barber and his teammate Dare. Dare is the pass catching back on the team. I can't pronounce his last name. It's some crazy shit. So don't start either of those guys. Tight ends. Now we're going to be starting both tight ends in this game. OJ Howard and G Reg third leg Olsen. Now there were all reports coming out are that G Reg third leg Olsen is going to play. He's expected to play. I'm confident in playing him this week. He's probably likely your only option. Now I would sit him if you had a guy like Vernon Davis or someone else that you can play, but he may be your only option. So I would be fine firing him out this week. I think OJ Howard should have a good game last week. Now both of the targets in the end zone went to Cameron Brait at the tight end position, not OJ Howard, but I think OJ Howard should have a bounce back week. A lot of guys are quick to turn their head, turn all their brain, they turn their brain off. They drafted OJ Howard in the fourth or fifth round, and now their brain is shut off and they say he sucks. No, he's a good tight end. I'm very confident in him this week. So thank you guys all for watching. I hope you did end up enjoying. If you ended up enjoying, click on one of any of the other videos that are on the screen. Click that goddamn subscribe button to my channel. All the videos are goddamn great. Have good luck tonight. I hope you all have a great fantasy day. Goodbye.